All right, everybody, welcome back to Stack Stacks. I'm John Swicky. Today, we're just going to look at a little tiny little feature from ChatGPT that just got released that, um, you know, I think people could find interesting. And I think, um, you know, these are little things that get me excited. These tiny little little tweaks sometimes I think they're that are just fun. So let's uh, let's just play with one of these. Um, default prompts here. We don't need anything too crazy. Okay, so we're going to do a seven day workout plan that we are going to ease into. So it's going to all right, this one might be long, actually. Sorry. This was supposed to be a quick little quick little thing. Um, all right, we're on day five now. Oh, wait, I can zoom. Let me just stop it. Okay, so if we highlight... Nope. Oh, wait, there it is. If we hit this little button right here. It's loading. Come on. Okay, that's not working. Let's do a new chat. Let's do a smaller prompt. I won't stop it this time. This is gift ideas for someone who loves fishing. This is more than I thought there'd be. And we are done. Okay, so now now we get we get this little Looks like a volume button, but now it's a read aloud function. Certainly. When thinking of gift ideas for your dad who loves fishing, but excluding actual fishing gear, the focus can shift towards items that complement the fishing experience, celebrate his passion, or integrate fishing themes into every. So, small little update where you can have them read back to you the responses uh, on the web. You know, sometimes I find it helpful, especially if you're doing work, you can kind of have this going in the background or um, you want to just maybe hear something, you know, read back to you. Um, so I just thought this was a cool little feature I wanted to show everybody. Um, but uh, yeah, let us know what you think. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day, everybody.